AITA for giving my sister's inheritance to our other siblings and their kids. I, 36M, have three younger sisters named Kate, 31F, Beth, 29F, and Meg, 26F. Our mom got sick around 10 years ago and I was forced to become a caregiver. She progressively got worse over the course of a decade. I was only 26 when this initially happened. Beth and Meg were too young to expect them to contribute, but Kate decided it would be a good time to up and move away with her new boyfriend. As our mom's health declined she repeatedly asked for her daughters. She forgot my face but called the names of her other children who didn't even come visit. Beth and Meg were unhelpful, but they still made an effort to come see her, though rarely. Around the halfway point of this terrible process, Kate started telling stories of our mom being abusive. These couldn't be farther from the truth. Our mom was fragile and definitely had issues, she struggled with severe depression and anxiety, but she never mistreated us. I stepped up as a kid to do a lot of the parental duties. It was me who took all my sisters to their father-slash-daughter events and scared off the boys trying to date them. The lies devastated our mom, but eventually she was too far gone to understand. She never had a bad thing to say about anyone. It was just in her nature to forgive. Especially if it was her children. I'm sure that if she had been all there, she still would have wanted nothing more than to see her daughter. My relationship with all three of my sisters deteriorated, but Kate took the cake. She'd call out of the blue asking for money, yet never asked how our dying mom was doing. Our mom passed peacefully in her sleep. I think seeing the state she was in sobered Beth and Meg. They apologized and sat beside our mom in her final hours. All three of us cried together. But only one name left my mom's mouth, Kate. Kate skipped our mom's funeral. She came riding into town with a complete stranger expecting her inheritance. My mom wrote a will before things went downhill that left everything to me with the unspoken expectation that I'd distribute it all equally. No one else was mentioned or specified. I divided things up between Beth, Meg and I. Their children also got something to help pay for college or whatever they decide to pursue after high school. The physical items were divvied up between family. My sister threatened legal action over it. She said she was owed a certain amount from our mother's estate and that she wanted the old family house. I told her that she's owed absolutely nothing and to enjoy living in whatever shithole she crawled out of. Anything she's given will be spent on drugs and stupid shit like lottery tickets. I won't fund that when it could go to helping my nieces attend college or give them something to lean on after turning 18. Our extended family are picking sides and saying I'm being petty. They said my mother would want Kate to have the money, but I know that if she got even a penny from me she'd see it as an opportunity to squeeze me for all I have. She's not getting anything, even when I'm old and senile. Edit, it was not put into writing that I need to divide everything equally. I am the only inheritor listed on the will. My mom did hope that would be the outcome but understood that there might be circumstances which complicate things down the line.